Okay, question 36 is a lot of fun. At least I think it's a lot of fun. This is from the June 2021 Regents and it is a, I believe a four point problem. Yeah, there's 37 questions on the test. Up to 35 is four points. So let's go over this question. I promise you it's really not that bad as long as you are familiar with our quadratic application word problems. So let's read through the situation. We're gonna break it apart and then you're gonna walk through the problem. So if we look, this is our background information. A ball is projected up from the air, up into the air from a surface of a platform to the ground below. The height of the ball above the ground feet is modeled by the function f of t equals negative 16t squared plus 96t plus 112, where t is the time in seconds after the ball is projected. Question A says state the height of the platform in feet. So in a way, it's basically like saying the ball is being projected from in the air from a surface of the platform to the ground below. So I'm starting at the surface. So I'm starting in the air. Thing is, no time has happened. So that basically means I'm going to plug in t for zero for t. So I know this part right here happens when t equals zero. So everywhere I see a t, I'm gonna plug in zero. So I have f of zero equals negative 16 times zero squared plus 96 times zero plus 112. And what we're gonna do is we're simply gonna type that into our calculator. I mean, I already know what the answer is gonna be because I know PEMDAS in my head. But if you don't, you can just do negative 16 parentheses zero square it plus 96 times zero plus 112. And if you look, that's going to be equal to 112 feet. So that is your final answer. Part B says state the coordinates of your vertex. Now, it's not saying how to find your vertex. You can use the calculator for this, or you can do it by hand. I'm going to solve it by hand, and then use the calculator. So, if we have the equation f of t equals negative 16t squared plus 96t plus 112, I can find the vertex of this by using the axis of symmetry formula, which is x is equal to negative b over 2a. So if you look, I have to be able to identify my a value and my b value. My b value for this example is 96. So I have x equals negative parenthesis 96 all over 2, and in this case, my a value is negative 16. So let me make this smaller. That's the perk of using an iPad. So now I have this. So I do alpha y equal enter. Ooh, nope. Second, m, seven, one, two. Alpha y equal enter. And I do negative parenthesis 96 parenthesis all over 2 times negative 16. And that gives me a 3. So I know my x value is 3. So I can say x equals 3 thing is a vertex is a point so I have to have a x comma y so everywhere I see a t in this case I'm going to plug in 3 so I'm going to do f of 3 equals negative 16 times 3 squared plus 96 times 3 plus 112 so I'm going to type that into my calculator so I have negative 16 parenthesis 3 close it cube it plus 96 parenthesis 3 plus 112 and I'm going to hit enter and once I do that I get negative 32 so that's my y value so that basically says every time I plug in an x value of 3 I get a y value of negative 32 but that doesn't seem right oh I'm supposed to square it I'm supposed to square it so I have second I'm going to enter it again so I'm going to type this in oh my god I'm so silly yeah, I get 256. That makes more sense. And I know my 256 is my y value. So that means my vertex occurs at the point 3, 256.
And that's your final answer. I mean, we have to then answer what does it mean because it says explain what it means in the context of the problem. But if you wanted to, you actually didn't have to do the axis of symmetry and all of that fun stuff. I mean, I thought it was fun. What you could have done is you could have just gone to y equals, typed in your equation, negative 16 x squared, not cubed, x squared, plus 96 x plus 112, second graph, and look to see the pattern. So basically, which value doesn't repeat from 0 onward? So at 0, I get 112, I get 192, 240, 256, and then I go back down to 240. So this is my oddball point. So it has to occur at 3, 256. Now it's asking you, what does it mean in the context of the problem? So basically, I know that t is time in seconds, So and that's my x value. So this right here means it takes 3 seconds for the ball to reach a maximum height of 256 feet. So it takes three seconds for the ball to reach a max height of 256 feet. And that would be your final answer for part B. Now, your next question. It says, state the entire interval over which the ball's height is decreasing. So that means my y values are going down. So if you look from 0, I get 112, 192, 240, 256. My values are going up. So it starts to decrease after x equals 3. So 3 less than t less than or equal to. And if I look, I go to 240, go to 192, go to 112, go to 0. So I end at 7. So I basically decrease from 3 to 7. You can also write 3 to 7 seconds is when your ball is decreasing. And there is no work that needs to be shown. You can just rely on your table of values. And that's it for question number 36. That's how you get four points.